going on YouTube? I wanted to do a small video about uh, maintenance or the upkeep on a resin printer. When prints go wrong, you know, you are scouring the internet for information. Why is this failing? Why are my prints not sticking? Or why are the prints sticking too much? And, you know, it, the, the list goes on. One of the things that I had to do for my resin printer was I had to replace the FEP. And the FEP is basically this plastic sheet that's at the bottom of your resin vat or your resin tank. Um, there are a bunch of videos on how to replace this, which is basically, you know, you pop some screws out, uh, you take out the old sheet, you put the new one in, and then you have to tension it. So that's one of the things that I was trying to figure out how do you tension this FEP uh, or this plastic sheet in that when this comes to you straight out of the box, it's pre-tensioned, so you're ready to go. But on mine, I, a small, I had a small dimple or a small hole that leaked, so obviously that's no good. So I was able to go out, buy some more sheets, uh, which are pretty cheap, luckily, and, and then learning how to tension this. The interesting part about this is this is my, I think my third sheet, because the second one that I tried, I couldn't tension it when I was putting it together correctly. And what I found was that some people put a spacer when they are uh, putting this sheet in and trying to figure out, you know, how, what do you use? Uh, some people use a sponge, some people used folded up um, paper towels, but one, I couldn't get it working with that method. What I did find was a Gatorade bottle cap. That's right, Gatorade bottle cap. So this is from the small bottle of Gatorade. And what I found was, and what I was told, is when you are putting this uh, FEP together and this, the tank wasn't actually on it, you basically set this down uh, when you're putting it there, you push down on the uh, pretensioning uh, square, tighten up all the screws, and this will get you the correct amount of tension when you screw this down into this vat itself. And it worked great. So did some prints, they printed fine, and then suddenly it wasn't printing again, and I couldn't figure it out. What I did find was that there is a way to um, adjust or tension this based off of frequency. So what I found or what I saw online was someone would, you know, basically take something and you would hit, hit the FEP like a drum and then you would tune it. You would get a frequency, you can get a frequency, um, app on your phone and then you would tap this until you got the correct frequency and just keep tightening or loosening or whatever and I did that and it worked amazing so I will show you what that sounds like because I have to tension this FEP up again one second hey so this is my resin <laughs> station um, I have a little small tray over here that I can just bring down uh, that, that I can use that has all of my supplies and scrapers and pliers and drain and whatnot. So I have my resin tank right here. Um, on This is my son's phone, but this is a audio frequency counter, so it just measures the frequency of the audio that comes in. And I'm just using this small stand uh, that I can rest the phone on and I'll show you what that looks like. But basically, put the your resin tank vat there. Test, test, test. I think that's where the audio goes in, so just kind of want to place that in there. And then obviously at this point you want to be quiet, but what you're just going to do is tap. So you're just going to do that. You're going to tap the plastic 
get a reading on the frequency and what I found and from what I've read you want your the frequency to be between 330 and 350 if it's any lower than that then that's when you want to go in and tighten the screws that are behind here so as I was tapping through the average frequency was about 316 315 so I would want to go through and tighten up these screws is it? Yep. So you generally want to just kind of tighten in small increments and kind of go around each of them. So let's just test this out. So in testing, the middle is about 330 frequency hertz. The, uh, the edges are about 340, 350. So that will mean that anything that I want to print in the center will most likely come out. If I print something that's towards the edges, and, and if it's really small, those might stick to the FEP or those might not release from the FEP. So that's, those are areas that could have printing issues. Um, when I try to print again but I've found that after since I've replaced my FEP I've had to retune or re-tighten the FEP about every two prints which isn't ideal but it could all like I said it could be because these screws are a little bit stripped or need to be cleaned so I probably would sh should just the next time I want to replace this go through and just clean everything out, make sure that everything is nice and, and just tidy, maybe see if I could find extra screws here. Um, and I know my FEP is still a little bit dirty, so I'll need to clean that off. But that is a way that you can use to retune or tighten your FEP so that if you are having printing problems, um, that's something to look at as well. The other thing you want to try looking for is this PTFE lubricant. Um, this is when something gets stuck to the FEP and it's not releasing. So if the supports get to the FEP, but then the support structure actually breaks off and it, you're, it's not actually coming off the FEP. I found that if you put a little bit of this on, smear it all over, and then put on or pour in the resin, that helps to let it so that the FEP isn't as sticky and your supports will stay on but it won't um, it'll release well so that's all I got for you guys today see you later